know that it's time to break from that negative cycle. You stop doing things like how every other person does things. I will not operate under the crowd mentality, the mob mentality. I have come for an encounter. Let's open our scriptures to Psalms chapter 1 to 6. We'll just read from verse 1 to, to 4. All right, let's read one to go. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. Wherefore we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Father, we give you all the glory. Let today be all about you. Speak to us in a language that we understand. Thank you, O oh God. We have come to say thank you. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. Thank you for April. Thank you for May. Thank you for June. Thank you for July. Thank you for August. Thank you for September. Thank you for October. Thank you for November. Thank you for December. Thank you because we are entering January 2024. Thank you, O oh God. Hey, Tayada. If it had not been for you on our side, uh, we won't be standing. Uh, thank you for fighting our battles. Uh, thank you, oh God, for giving us victory. Thank you, oh God, for not allowing our enemies laugh at us. Uh, thank you for not allowing it end the way the devil planned. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, we are that one leper that has come back to say thank you. Uh, can someone shout thank you, Jesus? I cannot hear your thank you, Jesus. Oh. You don't sound grateful. Can someone shout, Thank you, Jesus! Take your seat in the presence of God. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. The man that will receive from God. Today, I'm just going to be laying a foundation as to what is going to be happening today in our Thanksgiving service. And I want to speak about the man that will receive from God. And we read the book of Psalms 1 to 6. And if you look at it from the CEV translation. Now, this, this Psalm that we just read is a Psalm, the Bible calls it, when you go to the Psalms, when you, before you start reading, you see the they call it the song of ascents. At times it is called uh, the song of degrees depending on the translation. And you can also call it the song of steps. Ali pro shayata. And if amplified I think calls it the song of worship. Now this psalm was sung or sung at the time. The, the, the time this song, psalm was sung or sung was when the Bible says that at that time by many Bible scholars actually say they believe that from psalm 120 to 134 15 psalms in the bible 120 to 134 are called the song of ascent and they believe that the, this title came because these were worshippers who were ascending the road to jerusalem to attend the three pilgrim festivals that the bible talks about in deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 16 if i read 16 verse 16 for you the bible says three times a year all your males shall appear before the lord your god in the place which he chooses at the feast of unleavened bread at the feast of weeks and at the feast of tabernacles and they shall not appear before the Lord empty handed verse 17 says Ali bro shayata verse 17 says every man shall give as he is able according to the blessing of the Lord that God thy God which he has given thee. Hallelujah. So these people sang this song because most times we have read this scripture so many times. It was not something that just happened. It was something that had already happened. That is why if you read CEV, let's read verse 1. Verse 1 of that scripture, if media would take me to verse 1 of um, Psalms 1 to 6. It seemed like a dream when the Lord brought us back to the city of Zion. So imagine worshippers going the, up the road to Jerusalem in order to go to the temple in order for the feast to the temple to worship and as they are going they are saying we remember those days we remember the time that it seemed like a dream when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion so they kept singing and they were recounting what had happened but before I get into the matter of Psalms 1 to 6 I like what Deuteronomy said so when these people were going to the temple the Bible says that they were not going empty handed the bible says that nobody comes to the temple empty handed this was three times they went in the year 
for these three feasts and in these three times they never showed up empty handed thanksgiving service is something we do we do our media thanksgiving we do our annual thanksgiving it, if you have been in streams of joy you know that every time around this time we do a thanksgiving and it's the annual that once in a year thanksgiving that we come to say thank you lord you don't show up for a thanksgiving service without presenting something you must not come for thanksgiving you can't show up in the temple empty handed and the bible says that it is what you give is according to your ability meaning that it's according to your ability not according to what is in your account at the time it is according to the blessings god has already given you meaning that everybody shows up differently because we are, our abilities are different and the blessings of God over our lives even in the year has been different if I squandered my money or did other things with my money and my account is empty right now that does not if I show up with that thing if it's five naira in my account now it does not mean that that was the blessings of God for my life that year I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. That is what I have now because that is where I have found myself. But if I was deliberate and intentional about our thanksgiving, that at the end of the year, I need to thank God. I will not show up based on what is currently in my account. I will show up based on the blessings he gave me in 2023. That is what you come with. That is what you show up with. I remember saying this last year and people said, hey, next year we will be more deliberate. But it's still the same thing. At times we forget. But the way God ordains this is that there are things you don't forget. We don't show up empty-handed. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor you don't show up empty-handed. No, that neighbor is afraid of you. Maybe they, are, they, maybe, maybe they, they are afraid of you. Look at another neighbor and say, we don't show up empty-handed. The man that will receive from God is a man that will not show up empty-handed. The man that will receive from God is a God is the man that will give based on his ability, based on the blessings God has released upon him. I would rather show up today and tell God I owe you this amount and I will pay than me show up and I give less than what he has blessed me with in 2023 it's an error so if we go into the psalm this is how this is the foundation this is what many bible scholars said about this scripture so this is how these people started to move and the bible says as they kept moving and they were thanking god the man that will receive from god is a man that is thankful gratitude is the key that unlocks blessings you want blessings to be unlocked you have to be a grateful person the man that will receive from god is a man that will not show up like i said empty-handed the man that will receive from god is a man that never forgets what god has done or what god did these people were not saying what just happened they were recounting they were remembering what had happened it is one thing to remember what god has done when things are good it's another thing to still remember what God has done when things are not so good. I may not have the answer I want now, but I still remember on a day like this, I don't dwell on what is not working. I dwell on what has worked. What has worked for me is that I'm alive. Even if I'm standing with one leg, I'm still standing. Even if I am standing with my waist bent, I'm still standing. There are people that can't even stand with their waist bent. So that is what I show up with. I am not here to make complaints, but I'm here to say, God, January, you were there. Did I know I will make it this far? No. Did they give me a chance? No. But yet, we made it thus far. We don't forget. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, we don't forget. Tell your neighbor, we don't forget. The man that will receive from God is a man that doesn't forget. A Libra card. That man that will receive from God is a man. When he is faced with challenges, he starts by thanking God for what he did in the past. I have a problem now, but instead of me to start dwelling on it, I will thank God. God, you did it yesterday. If you did it before, you are the same God. You will do it again. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus was presented with a challenge. Only uh, how many loaves of bread? Five loaves, two fish. That was all that was available to feed a multitude. 5,000 men, excluding children and women. And the Bible says he did what first? He gave thanks. It was as a result of giving thanks that the Bible says it was after he gave thanks when he put it in the hands of the disciples as they shared it began to multiply. 
So even though there is a challenge in front of me, the man that does not forget is the man that starts by saying, thank you, Lord, for what you have already done before. The man that never forgets is the man that never allows his situation affect his confession. Remember, we're talking about how to receive from God. And we said the second reason is what? The man that never forgets what God has done before. So now we're now looking at the man that never forgets. He is that man, Ayika, that allows what, that doesn't allow what he's going through to reduce the size of God in his eyes. No matter what I'm going through, it doesn't, it doesn't diminish, it doesn't reduce who God is or the size of God in my eyes. He never doubts God for a second because of what isn't working or what hasn't worked. Verse 1 says, it seemed like a dream when the Lord brought us back to the city of Zion. Ayakata, for every time they journeyed to Jerusalem for the three feasts, they began to remember what God did. Today, can you remember what God has done? Can you cast your mind back? See, this scripture didn't say too many things God did. It was one thing. When the Lord, it seemed like a dream. When the Lord brought us back to the city of Zion, they were not recounting too many things. If you can remember one, one is enough. One. You don't need too many things. You don't need to remember too many. Some of us have a long list. But some of us may say, my list is not as long as my neighbor. Just one. Life is enough reason. Did you see the number of deaths that took place in 2023? And you have made it thus far. And you will still make it. What is that one thing? Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, can you tell me one thing God has done? Can you remember one thing? Let, can your neighbor tell you one thing without thinking? Exclude life. Can your neighbor measure one thing without thinking? What has God done? What has God done? Can someone shout something out to me? Salvation. Health. What has God done? Provision. That's why how things have been in the market. Every day you go to market. Who noticed that every, every day you show up, price will increase. Yet, you are still eating food. How did you make it thus far? Protection. Protection. Somebody wants to say something else. Eh? Peace. Sanity. Very important. Security. Shelter. Can someone raise his or hand and just shout, Thank you, Jesus? I can't hear you shout, Thank you, Jesus. The man that will receive from God is a man that responds or reacts in a certain way in response to his answers. You cannot receive an answer from God and be quiet, it's an error. When God does something for you, it must follow, there must be an action. The man that will receive from God is that man. That's what the Bible says, verse 2. We celebrated with laughter and joyful songs. When God did what he did, we did not see the problem is that times God will finish doing something for you. Bef Let me not run ahead of myself. When Papa is on NSPPD, even here in church, we'll say, ah, will you shout when God does it? Then we finish shouting. Finally, when God does the thing, you don't shout. Finally, when God does it, you are quiet. Sometimes we are quiet because as God is doing, has done that one, we are moving on to the next thing God is supposed to do. We are saying, God, thank you, you have done this one. But you know, my list was 10. It's one you have removed. Nine is remaining. Who knows what I'm talking about? Who understands what I'm saying? But God wants us. A man that will receive from God is the man that dwells, that takes time to spend celebrating that one that has happened. Don't be in a hurry to rush to what next. Lord, what's the next thing to do? Lord, see the list is still long. December has reached though. 2023 is about to end. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm grateful, but God, you know, eh? And because of that, you don't take time to enjoy and celebrate what God has done for you. The man that will receive from God is that man that understands. Like the scripture says, they said, we celebrate with laughter and joyful songs. Ali Broko, the man that will receive from God is a man that takes time to appreciate what God did. Was your reaction, think about what God did for you. Was your reaction commensurate with the blessing you received? The last blessing, the last thing he did for you, your reaction was it commensurate with what was done? Can you still remember how you even felt when he did it? Or it was just something you just pushed in one corner and you, you kept moving on? 
Let me see if I can run fast, fast, fast. The psalmist didn't just recount too many things, like I said, but it was one thing that he took time to mention. And the Bible says in Psalm 1 to 6, 1 to 3, it starts by, if you read from 1 to 3, it tells us how that God had, uh, it was like a dream when the Lord, you know, turned the captivity. Then he goes to the next verse and he now says, uh, what's the next verse? Uh, we celebrated with laughter and joyful songs. In foreign nations it was said the lord has worked miracles for his people so before it came to them making a request before they started to make a request which is in verse 4 they had taken time to do what celebrate what had happened it was remember they are on a journey to the temple and as they are recounting and they say hey god we remember those days we remember that time you did this we remember how our house was full of joy we remember how the nations even joined us and said the lord has done great things for us before they now went to verse 4 to say oh lord turn it but during thanksgiving like i said like i want to establish it is okay to make request to God it's okay but before your request comes let it be thanksgiving let thanksgiving be that thing that thing that let it be the foundation that is laid before a request is made during thanksgiving it's okay to trust God for more a man that will receive from God knows that his thanksgiving is the access door that bets more miracles and like I said about Jesus it was after thanksgiving that what happened happened and they now said do it again Ali pro shayata. Father, now you have done this one. Do another one. Do it again. Ali pro shayata. Does anybody need God to do something again for them? Can someone say, Do it again, Lord? Do it again, Lord. Do it again, Lord. Ashika basuila brakata. Ariba. You want God to show up again. If you want God to show up again, testify. It's a testimony they were giving. You want God to show up again. Come out and give your testimony. You want God to show up again. Talk about the one he did in the past. Your sharing of testimonies is one way to ensuring that miracles are recreated in your life. But most times we don't share our testimonies. We keep it to ourselves. Or we just tell a few persons. But you want another one to, be, to, to happen again. It is in your testimony. It's not about whether, they, whether I'm afraid. When you were asking God, you were not afraid. When you were asking God, you told God you would come out and testify. But when God does, he say, God, I'm afraid of the crowd. They will look at me somehow. What is somehow? Let them look at you somehow. It is, it is prophetic. As I come out and testify, that means I am saying, God, do it again. There are people that God will be in a hurry to do again and again for because he knows they will not keep back the praise. They will not keep it to themselves. Can someone raise his hand and say, God, do it again. God, do it again. Verse 2 to 3 says, we celebrated. I like that word, celebrated. A man that will receive from God is a man that will be loud about his thanksgiving. Look at your neighbor, shout loud. Ask your neighbor, are you loud? Ask your neighbor, do you know what it means to be loud? Now, our thanksgiving isn't quiet and shouldn't be quiet. Do you know the word celebrate? Do you know what it means? Celebrate. I went, I was just checking dictionary meaning of the word celebrate. Celebrate means to mark. It means to, uh, let, me find, let me find the meaning. Because to, to mark, to drink to. This drink is, is not alcohol I'm talking about here. To drink to. Now, I saw something that excited me. One of the synonyms or one of the words for celebrate is to paint the town red. And I remembered last week, we wore red without knowing that, sincerely, I did not know. I don't know if people knew, but I did know that the, one of the meaning for the word celebrate is to paint the town red. Did we paint the town red? Yeah. Eh? We are still painting. So, one of the meanings of the word celebrate is to paint it. When I saw it, I said, hey, so we were that prophetic without even knowing that we were doing something prophetic last week. Because 10 years, 10 year anniversary came with celebration. And we actually did, we painted the town red. How many people came back and I said, what was going on? What was going on? Which people were all these people? Uh, you are about to paint the town red again. No, you don't understand. It means to paint the town red. It also means, I was checking, this is dictionary. It says to kill the fatted calf. In the scripture, when we talk about the prodigal father, that, that he killed the fatted calf. 
In dictionary, it's not Bible dictionary. To kill the fatted calf is one of the meanings of celebrate. God himself knows how to throw parties. God himself, what did I say? Knows how to throw parties. Go and check scriptures. Luke 15. By the time you start reading about the parables, when the hundred sheep, when one gets missing, Jesus was giving a parable. He says, they will leave, the, the owner will leave what? The 99 and go after the one. When he gets the one, he will go and call his neighbor and tell them, come and rejoice with me. That which was lost has been found. He now went ahead and gave another parable about the woman and says her coin and she sweeps and sweeps. When she finds that one coin, she still does what? Goes and gathers people. It was after that he talked about the parable of the prodigal son. They just came back to back and he now says, this man, the son goes. When the son comes back, he calls for a celebration. He tells the servant, go and kill the fatted calf. Papa said the fatted calf means that they have been feeding this calf for the day of celebration. And they now kill the fatted calf. What is he all talking about? Party. Heaven knows how to throw parties. How can heaven be loud making parties celebration and the earth will be quiet? It's impossible. There is a kind of celebration that is coming. The kind that God is about to bring in this service. A Libra, can I speak to someone? Your party will still hold this year. You will call your neighbors. See, 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 see. I am saying it because I know you will call me. You will call me and say, Mama, come. It is happening. Ah, it will not be quiet. It will not be quiet. Who did I speak to right now? It will not be quiet. Oh. What will still happen? A Libra, God loves party. God loves party. So these people, the Bible says, we celebrated. We made noise. It is only by their party, by turning the streets red. That is the only way the foreign nations would have heard. They did something that would have attracted attention. Ali Braka, you will close your street. Ali Broko Shayata. People around your street will come and say, What is going on? Or getting a member. And they will know that it is you. That party will hold this year. That canopy will be put this year. People will gather to celebrate with you. They will not gather to tell you sorry. It will still happen. Oh. Find three neighbors. Give them a high turn. Stand up on your feet. Give them a high turn. It will still happen. It will still happen. It will still happen. It will still happen. Ah, you your in-laws are coming. Uh, they will come. They will bring. They will come and knock on the door. They will still give you the gift of a car. They will give you that car key. Uh, they will give you that house property. Uh, they will give you the land papers. It will still happen. Uh, you will do housewarming this December. Who just gave it to housewarming? You will do housewarming. You will not be the one to, you see, 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 you don't need to build the house by yourself for you to have it. Someone will finish building it to their taste and God will say, release the key to him. Release it to Kechi. Release it to Ngozi. Release it to Emeka. Who did I just speak to now? I am not saying it to excite you. It is the word of God. Uh, if your amen will thunder before December becomes January 2024, let there be celebration in your family. Let there be congratulations in your family. Let your aim at honor. Let your aim at honor. Let your aim at honor. I am led to pray for someone that fatted calf. You don't have your own fatted calf. Somebody has been feeding the goat, the cow, the chicken, the turkey. They have been feeding it. When they finish feeding it, because this party must hold and it must be grand, it must be big. They will be the ones to bring what you will use in the celebration. They will bring it. Uh, 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 you will not have a quiet December. I know somebody is afraid. But you see 25th December. If your two hands are lifted and your amen will turn down. Your Christmas will not be quiet. Your Christmas will not be business as usual. 
What has not happened since January up until now? Let them begin to happen right now. Take a 24 hour miracle, seven days miracle, 14 days miracle, two days miracle. Let your aim at honor. Let your aim at honor. What God will do for you, like the Bible says. The Bible says the hidden, the foreign nations were the ones that first said, before the people said, they had said, the Lord has done great things for them. Can I make it a prophetic word for someone? People are going to say it about you. People will say it about your family. Please raise that family picture again because it must happen in your family. Raise your family picture again. A Libra called Shayata. Neighbors, colleagues, people in your street, in your career, in business. A Libra called Shayata. Family members, a Libra called. As you raise the pictures of your family members, I decree a Yadada. That kind of testimony that will make people hear and gather and will confess the mighty works of God. As your amen will turn, I decree uh, it will happen for your family members people will gather and say the lord has done great things for your family can you put your family's name in the atmosphere call your family's name the jerry's family call your family call it seven times uh, the jerry's family 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 i decree and declare seven for perfection as you have called your family's name i send it uh, and i release it to the air to the wind uh, and i decree Angels, uh, angels, uh, angels, uh, angels uh, let them take the name uh, of your family. Uh, let them begin to create uh, miracles uh, that sound like lies, uh, testimonies uh, that sound like lies. Uh, people will gather and say, uh, The Lord has done great things uh, for your brothers, uh, for your sisters, uh, for your children, uh, for your parents, uh, for you. Uh, let your aim at on uh, Let your aim at on uh, The Lord said, I should tell first service people. I say it again, oh, it will still happen. Father, whatever needs to happen, today we call the four winds of the earth. From the north, the south, the east, the west. Wherever your answers have been delayed, wherever your answers have been kept, wherever your answers are waiting, by the prayer that we are making this morning and as your amen will thunder I decree let the four winds of the earth let them bring it to you right now let them bring it to you right now nothing missing nothing broken nothing missing nothing broken can I still make this prayer again people will not gather to tell you sorry this year your business will not go down there will be no evil emergencies Nothing will go wrong at the end, at the end, at the end of the year. Nothing will go wrong at the at the end of the year. I am talking about 31st, 31st, 31st. Nothing will go wrong at the end of the year. Let your aim at thunder. Let your aim at thunder. Whatever you're believing God for, you will carry it as your evidence. You will carry it as your evidence. You will carry it as your evidence. You will not hear bad news in the remaining days of 2023. Oh, I pray for you your ears will only hear good news only good news let your amen thunder if you believe it thunder three loud amen. 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 amen i decree this month you will celebrate you will enter 2024 with laughter this year must end in praise in the mighty name of jesus